Welcome back to another video where once again I hear a Staten Island Airfield and today we're going to be doing a gear update because it's 2023 and a bunch of stuff has changed. I'm going to get into it, go through everything that I'm using, everything that I'm flying, everything that has changed from the last time I did this video back in April of last year. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the bag, uh, we still have the same iFlight bag that I've been using so far. I'm going to drop it down. Nothing really has changed. It's held up pretty well. I'll talk about it when I get inside, but the zippers have been or not zippers, the Velcro has been getting a little loose. I've got two drones here on the outside. We're gonna dive into those first. But at the end of last year, I was having a little bit of issues with my Skyliner. I basically beat it up to the point which the press nuts were falling out of the arms and the mid plate. And so I decided to go for something a little tougher, a little thicker. So I built up two Demibots as my freestyle frame of choice. Uh, they've been great so far. Uh, only a little damage on the back of the arm, little scrapes in the middle, all cosmetic issues, but flies fantastic. Uh, both builds use the Speedy B F7. Both builds are great so far. This has basically become my practice drone. Uh, one that I can basically beat up relentlessly. It has the Cadex Vista out of one of those uh, Skyliners previously and the flight controller as well. So it's basically just moved to a new frame. It's a TBS Source One V5. And I love it because the frame itself is $25. And in a world that's getting more and more expensive, that frame is fantastic and inexpensive. The only downside is that the front standoffs are not wide enough to take the O3. Hopefully they make a V6 that fits the O3 air unit. <laughs> Next, we have the two cinematic-esque freestyle drones. As you saw on the bottom, my FAA commercial registration number for my FPV drones, uh, but they're basically built up as twins. Uh, both of these and the Demi-Bot frames are built up as twins, so most of the parts are interchangeable. When it comes to the two Apex uh, dead cats, uh, that one is built up with the T-Motor F7 flight controller and stack. This is built up with the KISS and FETTECH set, or sorry, not KISS. It is KISS now, but originally it was FETTECH G4 uh, and the FETTECH uh, ESC running the Alpha firmware. Uh, these are the two drones that I used in that test where I compared uh, FETTECH to Betaflight. Those are the drones. Now let's dive into the bag, starting off with the pocket here on the back. Unzip this. So when I'm out flying, I basically wanted a way that I could give somebody a ride along without having to put on a pair of goggles. And so fortunately for me, Google Fi gave me this sweet, inexpensive Samsung tablet and it works perfect for that. Uh, so I didn't have to pay for it, which is the best part, and it works perfectly. Inside this pocket, I have my GoPros and DJI Action 2. Take all these out. I've got a DJI Action 2. Hero 11 Mini and a GoPro Hero 10. Wait for that to pass. Now that the fire engines have gone, tuck in this pocket right here and we've got spare SD cards. Uh, basically I wrote on there, make sure to format before use, but always good to have spare SD cards when you're using anything that uses SD cards, which all of the O3 air units, my goggles, the GoPros, even the DJI Action, they all use SD cards. So having some spare ones is pretty essential. Oh, and all, the only other change I made to the bag as I pop this pin on there. It's the Crowded Barrel Whiskey pin, which is the CrowdStars distillery I'm part of. So if you're into whiskey, check out my Instagram. I do whiskey reviews a bunch of times uh, and also talk about whiskey stuff. I haven't really done that on YouTube in a while, but I may go back to it if there's some curiosity. Uh, so in here, nothing special. Got my prop tool, got a whole bunch of props, uh, both the Radberry 3.5, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, 3.5 pitch, 5.1 inch props, and then also some peanut butter and jelly props. And I think in this bag, I have another prop tool. And then I also have the three and a half inch props for my sky light, because that's the other thing I tend to fly out of this bag. So now let's go over to the other side. We're gonna unzip this. And in here I have zip ties. I have my battery checker in this pocket. And then I have, I don't think I have anything in this pocket. Which in there, feel around. Oh, I do have something. Oh, this is actually really special. Uh, so I have a cell killer for a um, XT30. I have a T-mount prop remover, which if you don't know what this is or you hate T-mount props, you should get one of these. And then a prop puller tool. So I'm gonna throw that there. I'm gonna pop this out and I'll pop this tool out. Cause I wanna do kind of like a, a little like show of what's in my bag next to it. So 
that's what's in this bag. I'll take this out too. Those are my prop remover tools. That's everything that's in this pocket. I don't really keep all that much in it because I don't like how it puffs out the side of the bag. But now let's dive in to the main pocket and the main event of this whole thing. So I'm gonna open this up. Uh, up top, I have uh, HDMI cable for my analog goggles and then an HDMI adapter. So if I wanna plug in my Fat Sharks uh, or I wanna plug in this adapter. So on this side, I have a USB uh, micro to USB-C, a USB-C to USB-C, and a USB-A to USB-C cable. So that way I can plug pretty much anything I need. Uh, down here, I have a spare uh, DJI cable to XT60 and a spare DJI goggle battery connector, as well as a spare goggle strap, uh, just in case something breaks. And then here is the main body of the bag. Starting up here, I have the Radio Master Boxer, which check out my review on the Radio Master Boxer. I love it. Uh, since that review, I went in, have installed the AG01 gimbals, and also I put a custom sound pack on it. Let's not crash too much today. Or do, I don't really care anyways. Throttle. Nap time. Yeah, so super nerdy. If you're into Portal or you play games, you'll get a kick out of that. But that's my radio, Radio Master Boxer. Uh, in here, I have all my GoPro mounts. Uh, I keep some static GoPro mounts uh, for the different frames that I'm flying, as well as mounts for the uh, GoPro Hero 10 bones for when I fly that. Then also I have this, which inside here is a dummy GoPro. It is a complete block of plastic, and it's there literally just to be a weight. Uh, so if I'm flying the practice frame and I don't want to risk an action camera and I'm not trying to record anything, I'll throw that on the front. It's basically there to give me the weight that I need so I can do pitch tricks and still get the feel that I want. Next, we got my goggle, goggle strap. My radio strap clips onto my radio, hangs from my neck, makes it a little easier to deal with. Uh, here, I have all of my bits for my action camera. Open up this, I think it's like the GoPro Casey case, and I'll have links to all this stuff down below. Uh, so in here, I got ND filters, uh, other mounting options, some mounting options for the DJI Action onto me, uh, and then this right here is actually pretty special. Uh, so this is basically from a balance lead on this end of the battery to the GoPro Hero Bones connector. I also have one in there that goes from the balance lead to a USB-C. So if I don't want to run a battery for whatever reason, I can use that little cable and I can remove it. So next let's go in here. I've got spare motors for the drones that I'm flying right now. I have a spare arms and other parts for the current drone. So I have spare arms for the Demibot, spare arms for the Apex, both the six inch in the back, five inch in the front. Here, I've got my DJI goggles, iFlight Crystal up front, uh, T uh, True RC antenna stubby on the top. I've got a little protector in the back with a spare SD card once again, and then fat strap goggle strap. And actually this is new. I'm running a very, very short battery cable. So that way I can have my goggles plugged in and the cable doesn't like hang down and go everywhere. But that is a super nice little addition. Here I have a, an Allen key set, uh, essential to have that tool, uh, and then a spare strap, because I always have spare straps everywhere. Uh, this, basically just a little first aid kit. You can hear the stuff in there. Advil, allergy medicine, band-aids, all the rest of that stuff. Uh, portable multimeter. This is great for when you're fixing quads and you need to test something or check something, or even if you get back from a crash. Uh, and that's pretty much all that's in there. Oh, uh, these went wandering. Uh, so this is a GoPro mount that basically lets you mount your GoPro in a vertical arrangement. So this is essential if you're going out and filming and say you need to get something for Instagram. Great way to do that. Uh, and this is for the skylight. I usually keep it in there, uh, but that basically lets you run those same uh, pronged feet. So if I have a GoPro that I don't have a mount for, I can use that and mount it up to my uh, drone. So in here, this is my little tool kit. Put it down for a second, open this up. So not much has changed in here. I've got my iFlight, uh, not iFlight, uh, Vif Viafly smoke stopper, spare prop nuts. Uh, this is basically that uh, steel wool solder stuff that you basically clean the soldering tip off with. Uh, spare zip ties, SpeedyB adapter cable, spare XT60s and XT30s, Loctite, all that song and dance on this side. Over here, I've got a cleaning brush, another prop tool. Uh, this is a godsend if you're flying, uh, Loctite super glue. Uh, super easy to apply, sticks like a banshee. 
I've got my uh, TS100 soldering iron, works like a champ. I probably should replace that tip, it's getting a little old. Solder, racy quads, I got all my drivers in here uh, that I need for my quads, and then the SpeedyB adapter itself. And then this is to basically grab a motor. So if you've got a stuck prop, this can help you get the traction you need on the or a friction you need on the motor bell to help you get a stuck prop off. And then the cutters, I think I didn't mention the cutters, but yeah, cutters. So back in the bag, that's everything in those pockets. And actually one more thing, I do have a spare receiver tucked up here at the front, just in case. And then last but not least, down here I have the battery bag. And in my battery bag, I scoot that aside, open this up. Now my fingers are cold, my nose is cold, everything is cold. zip that open so inside of my battery bag i have again more battery straps because you can never have enough spares i have my goggle batteries for my dji goggles and then my flight packs uh, some of these are looking a little rough nowadays after finding some new spots to fly they're a little more harsh and then they have this uh, so this is one of my favorite new tools in my kit uh, this is a zg cine charger so it works kind of like a battery bank but its party trick is it charges three GoPro batteries. And actually it also has spots up here for spare SD cards. I forgot about that. But this is a great tool if you're carrying GoPros, you can basically bring extra charges for your batteries. So you don't necessarily just bring extra batteries, you bring extra power, which is essential if you're going out for a day of flying. And that's everything that's in my FPV kit for 2023. From last year, really the only things that have changed are the radio that I fly as my primary radio, as well as the drones that I fly as my primary flyers, uh, being the Demibots, the Apex, and that training Source One. Love them to death. And again, I love the Radio Boxer video review over here. I am gonna dive more into why I changed away from the Skyliner and why I switched away from using the Rotor Riot solderless build. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but it has nothing to do with the quality, anything like that. It's more just kind of a personal decision. Um, but again, I'm gonna make a video all about that and I'll dive in real deep. So let me pack up everything that I've got there. As always, affiliate links are down below. Everything that I used to make this video, as well as everything that's in my bag, uh, you can go check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there anything that you would change in my FPV kit? Uh, is there anything you want to know more about or anything you want more details about? Leave me a comment. I'll either answer it in a comment or I'll make a video, depending on what the question is. Uh, pretty much uh, for me, I don't think a lot's gonna change this year. Uh, the only thing that I'm really, really excited for that I wanna get my hands on is the HD Zero goggles because those things are fantastic looking but that may have to wait a little bit because i'm not quite ready to drop down a bunch of money for a premium goggle and also they're kind of hard to get right now anyway so gonna be patient gonna relax gonna take my time and do it the right way with all that said thank you again for joining me in this video it's been a pleasure showing you the update to my fpv kit hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please leave me a thumbs up if you didn't please leave me a thumbs up it helps me in the algorithm grow this channel all the rest of that as always, and as every YouTuber says, please subscribe. It really does help this channel out. And thank you for joining me on this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.